So it's been a long journey for Marvel's Avengers. The game has been out for almost a year at this point, and although the launch was rocky, the devs over at Crystal Dynamics have added new heroes, new story content, and a whole swath of updates and patches to smooth out the gameplay experience. But look, all that's in the past, it's done, it's gone. You know why you're here. That's right, the game's biggest content drop yet has been released in the form of the War for Wakanda expansion, which brings a new location, new enemies, and of course, a new playable hero. The one thing Avengers has always nailed is ensuring that each hero is a blast to play. Well, except for the Hulk. And T'Challa is no exception to this rule. In fact, Black Panther is probably in my top three favorite heroes out of the whole roster. His moveset and abilities are dope, and leveling him up to unlock new skills is still very rewarding. He can take on larger enemies like Exos and Adaptoids, and he still has great speed and mobility for getting around the environment. Speaking of the environment, Wakanda itself easily leaves its mark as a gorgeous place to explore and battle in. Everything from the outposts to the jungles feels lovingly crafted and rich in lore. Look, after over 150 hours of battling in the same aim hallways time and again, you have no idea how much I love this change of scenery. On the story side, this new content is longer than any that has been previously added and manages to be an engaging, if predictable, tale. I played through the whole thing over on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash ladata, and I was very entertained the whole way through. Simply put, I think War for Wakanda is the entire Avengers experience distilled down into one expansion. What I mean by that is that it has all the positives that come with the base game, like enjoyable combat, neat comic stories, and fun co-op, along with some of the bad stuff like technical issues and odd design choices at points. For example, in the game you fight crossbones at various points during some missions, but it's not actually in the game as a replayable villain sector, at least not yet and I did encounter a handful of technical bugs during my time with the game on stream, including one that I had to reset a checkpoint for. But look, I want to be clear, none of the bugs that I experienced were anything close to what was present at the launch of the game. In fact, I found this expansion to be the most polished out of any of the content drops to hit the game yet. So yeah, that's my thoughts. Uh, Black Panther is a great addition to the game and shows the best that Marvel's Avengers can be. If you've never played the game, you can just jump right into the War for Wakanda expansion or play however you want. But that's all from me. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And now we just uh, wait for Spider-Man. Eventually. At some point.